Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a no code accordion using hover interactions inside of Wix Studio. So let's go ahead and get started. So here I am inside of Wix Studio and the first thing I want to do is kind of design our section. So, so with the section that we have here, I'm gonna split this into two different columns using the layout options down here, just like that. Now for this cell over here, I do want this to be a specific number. So I'm gonna head on over to the top and under size, we are gonna turn on advanced sizing for this. So now that we have done that, we can head down to the columns and we'll actually have different advanced sizing elements that we can now apply to this. For this one, I am going to temporarily set this to a pixel number and we're gonna set this to 240. That's gonna e equal around 80 pixels for three different slivers of items that we're gonna use for hover. You'll kind of see what I'm talking about in just a minute, but basically 80 pixels of every single item that's gonna be part of the accordion, because we're gonna have three items, is gonna be visible. But now that we have set it to 240 pixels, I'm now just gonna go ahead and set this back to a viewport value. So now we know it's about 18.8 .8 VW. For this left hand side, I'm literally just going to paste in a nice little title and then we'll might as well just grab like a little paragraph and maybe place it like over here. And for example, maybe the, uh, the accordion elements are going to kind of hide these paragraph text when people hover over it. And that might be a nice little effect. But now what I want to do is actually start designing the item itself. So what we're gonna do is select this right grid cell over here and I'm going to add a container. For this container, what I want to do is set the height to match the height of the section. I'm going to align it to the right and I'm going to make it about, let's say 500 pixels. I think that should look pretty good. Perfect. And what I want to do is just kind of design the section or design the box really quickly. So with this one, I'm gonna set the background color to white. Maybe we'll add a nice little border to it maybe two pixels. Let's go ahead and round the edges because that might look a little bit nice. And um, But what I will say for the corners, I do actually want to unlink these and I want to make the right side of it uh, not have any corners. So that way the corners are only on the left hand side. I think that will look a little bit nicer and you'll kind of see why. Inside of this container, let's just add another container. We'll stretch this. We will remove the background color Let's go ahead and apply a little CSS grid here. We'll do it one by two with maybe a 24 pixel vertical gap. In the top, let's add an image that we can stretch. And for the corners, we'll run it to like 12 pixels. That looks good. For the bottom part of the grid here, we're just gonna add a very simple paragraph and heading element here. So we'll grab both of these elements. We'll stack these together. We'll send it to the left. Make sure everything is aligned to the left inside of the stack and like a 12 pixel gap. And then last but not least, we'll set the width to be like 100%. Once we are done with that, I now want to grab the container and we are going to set the row to minimum and we're gonna set the top row to auto. So that way the picture is gonna take up all of the rest of the available space. And now with the container selected, we're gonna head down to the docking area and we're gonna add about 10% margin. Let's see what that looks like. I think that looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and apply that to all sides. So this is gonna be the design of our items here. So the first thing I want to do is let's add a container here really quickly, okay? This container, we are going to set to 80 pixels. And if we turn on advanced sizing, we are going to switch this over to viewport and we can see that 80 pixels basically equates to 6.3 VW. And if you remember, we set this right grid cell over here, or right cell, we set it to be 240 pixels, and that would equate to 80 pixels per item. So we plan to have three items, so each item is going to have basically 80 pixels hanging out the edge like this, right? So that's going to be 6.3. Now, if we grab this box here and we turn on advanced sizing, and we just for fun check the viewport width, we can see it's 39.1. So if we do 39.1 minus 6.3 VW, we're left with 32.8. So with this item selected, I first wanna come down to adjust and we are going to set the translation to 32.8 VW. 
And basically what that is going to do is when we press preview, it's going to push this off the screen by 32.8 VW. And I think that's exactly what we're looking for. And before we proceed, let's go ahead and start adding the animation to it. So we're gonna come over to animation and effects. We'll add a hover effect and we're gonna create a custom effect. Now what we want to do is remove the translation. So since we adjusted it, that basically sets up the initial state for this animation. And since we are on the animation state right here, we can then remove the translation here and we can press done. So now when we press preview, if we hover over this, you're gonna see it comes out and it looks really nice. But we're gonna have three items in total, so we need to do this two more times. So all I'm going to do is copy this design that we have here. And if I grab the cell, which is this one right here, and paste it in the cell, this is where it's going to be. Now, what I want to do is align this to the right. I can then change any of the elements here. So let's just for fun, we'll say this one is item two, okay? And now with this container selected, I want to come down to margin and we're going to push this out by 6.3 VW, okay? And since this is item two, we don't want it to be in front of item three, so we're going to press the more actions bar. We're gonna go down to arrange, and we're gonna send this to the back. Perfect. Now let's do this one more time. And, and while we're here, let's actually change this to say item three, Ooh, item three, okay? But now let's go ahead and do this one more time. We're gonna grab the item two box, then we're going to grab the cell, we're gonna paste it in, we're gonna align it to the right, we're gonna change this to say item one, and then with the box selected, we're gonna change this to be 6.3 VW times two, so that's gonna be 12.6 VW, and then using the more actions, we're going to arrange this and send it to back, perfect. So now when we go ahead and preview the website, when we hover over the item one, this is what appears, it looks pretty nice. I will say there is that little, um, I don't really like the corners here, uh, but we'll fix that in just a minute. Then when we hover over item two, this one appears, and then item three when we hover over item three. Now, one thing I will say is when we are hovering, it might be nice if we hover over item three that we see item one and two hover with it right so and same for item two so let's go to item two really quickly and under animation and effects we want to add an animation now we don't want to an add another animation to itself because we can't anyway but what we're going to do is grab container one and we're going to add the animation effect that we added so when we hover over item two you're going to see that item one moved with it now let's do the same exact thing for item three but for both item one and two so for when we have item three selected, we're gonna select item one and we're going to apply the animation, okay? Now let's add another one and we're gonna grab item two and we're gonna add this animation, perfect. So now when we preview the website, when we hover over item one, item one appears. When we hover over item two, item one stays out. And then when we hover over item three, item two and three, item one and two both go out into their hover states as well. But now let's go ahead and fix this part right here um, with item one and two. To fix this, what I'm gonna do first is start by hiding item one, item three. So I'm gonna grab this box and hide it temporarily, okay? And what I want to do is grab item two, and, and what we're gonna do is grab the box inside, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna change this 10% to a VW value. So we can see it's 3.9, right? So what we're gonna want to do is maybe add 3.9 to the width of the main box. So we'll do 39.1 plus 3.9. We're looking at 43. So we're gonna set the width to 43. I don't know why I couldn't do that basic math. <laughs> um, but then what we're gonna do is with this box right here, we're going to double this percentage here. So we're gonna do 7.8 VW here. Perfect. And let's see if we bring back the third box, if that fixes the issue. So it does fix the issue, but now we also, but one thing I did forget to do is to half this. So we're gonna do 6.3 minus 3.9. So now we're just gonna set this to 2.4 VW. Perfect, okay. So now we just need to do the same exact thing to item one. So again, I'm going to go ahead and hide three. And since we already fixed two, I'm gonna go ahead and hide this one as well. And what we're gonna want to do again is 
grab this internal box. We're gonna set this 10% to a VW, so 3.9. Then we're gonna grab the main container and we're gonna set this to be 43 because that's 39 or 39.1 plus 3.9, so 43 VW. Then we're gonna grab this internal box and we're gonna set this to be double 3.9, so 7.8. And then last but not least, we're gonna grab the main box and we're going to do 4.8. Okay, now let's grab two, we'll grab three. I do think I messed up a little bit. Yeah, I did. Okay, so the, the margin that I applied here was not correct. Uh, what, we, what we actually want here is not 4.8, it was set to 12.6. So we wanna do 12.6 minus 3.9. So it'd be 8.7, there we go. And there we have a really nice looking hover interaction here on our website. If the math towards the end got a little bit confusing, uh, I do apologize for the most part, unless you wanna have, if you don't wanna have rounded edges, that last part was pretty unnecessary. If you just have everything be sharp edge, then, that, then there's really nothing to worry about. Um, but kind of in short, what I was doing here, right, is I wanted this box to be the same size, um, but I needed to extend its parent element. So what I did was I doubled the margin to the right of this, and I added it to the width of the main container. And then I added a dish and I doubled the uh, margin that I applied to the right side only. And then I adjusted the margin for the main container to basically be in the same position it was. So whatever position it was in, width I added to it, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. But if it doesn't, feel free to ask in the comments below. But overall, this is a great way to add a really nice hover interaction to your website without any code. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.